and I was going to report um, the appointments to the Long Island Regional Council as part of the consent item. When I get to that point, I'm going to ask you to please stand and recognize it if you want to say anything, please feel free. All right? I'm going to begin with uh, item 6, resolution 84. Uh, 84. Uh, item 7, uh, ordinance 64. Item 16, ordinance 72. Item 17, ordinance 73. Item 18, ordinance uh, 74. Item 19, ordinance 75. Um, item 20, ordinance uh, 76. Item 21, ordinance 77. Ordinance 22, uh, ordinance 78. Uh, <coughs> uh, item 24, resolution 86, item 25, resolution 87, item 26, resolution 88, item 27, resolution 89, uh, item 28, resolution 90, uh, item 29, resolution 91. Uh, uh, 29, Resolution 91, Item 30, Resolution 92, Item 31, Resolution 93, uh, uh, Item 32, Resolution 94, uh, Item 33, Resolution 95, and I know the individual is not here, but he um, had a town meeting, and so uh, that's uh, the Long Island Regional Council uh, his regrets. Now, here we go. Uh, I, item 34, Resolution 96, which is the appointment of Bob Rodono. All right. Uh, item 36, uh, Resolution 98, which is the appointment of John Kemp to the Long Island Regional Planning uh, Council. Uh, item 37, uh, a resolution to, no, uh, to accept the Resolution 99. Uh, 38, Resolution 100. 39, Resolution 101. Uh, item 40, Resolution 102. And uh, item 41, Resolution 103. Now, um, a motion, please. So moved by Legislator Dunn, second by Legislator uh, uh, Capel. Now, I know that uh, Mr. Cameron is here, and I, I, I believe so. Um, I did not call the other item. Uh, because I need to do a, re a recusal for Mr. Kraut. Yeah, I just want to mention that uh, resolution number 35, Jeff Kraut here, who's the... Right, uh, I didn't forget, but just that right. two, two... My points. name is John Cameron. I'm the chairman of the Long Island Regional Planning Council. Okay. Uh, anything you want to say to us? <laughs> and, uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, uh, these appointments is three reappointments, uh, Jeff Kraut, Barbara Dono, who's the mayor of Plano Manor, and myself, and the new appointment of uh, Tony Santino, Supervisor of Town Hempstead. He's replacing Supervisor Venditto on the Planning Council. So, uh, um, sincerely appreciate the endorsement of, the, uh, of both sides of the council. We've been here for years, I guess it's almost 10 years, and we've had uh, unanimous support from both sides of the council. Uh, because we are bilateral, non-political, and uh, I think enjoy an excellent relationship with all the members of the legislature. So uh, I sincerely appreciate your, uh, again, ratification again today. Okay. I'm going to, um, I don't want to know, I have, I have these items on the floor. Any uh, comments from the legislators, any public comment on any of these items? Yes, Ms. Meredith. Are you going to tell us which items you'll be referring to? I believe I will. Okay, thank you, Mr. Cameron. Meet is a Meredith Baldwin, New York. And I will be discussing for the record for the moment. <sighs> Item six, seven, eight, seventeen. 
Okay, cool. Now, issue at hand. Uh, first of all, I want to, yeah. Yeah, 35, 36. Hi, this uh, is Meredith. Yeah. Yeah. Number eight was not the old debt, and the and neither was 35. So okay. You did just speak to the other. Gotcha. Okay, so I'll be back for those. Um, my concern, especially after hearing the interesting discussion and dialogue today uh, with the re reaffirmation of what those of us who pay taxes consider public safety, and unfortunately what the majority <laughs> votes for considers uh, personal privilege, it seems to me. Um, we have a serious disconnect and we are bordering on potential disaster in this county. Me being a 9-11 responder, uh, you know, bad lungs and all the rest of it, I, I feel I can then speak at this point because, you know, I never know from day to day which, which new ailment is going to uh, attack my, my personage. So I am concerned and I commend again uh, Minority Leader Abrahams and particularly Legislator Legislator Salage and Legislator Bino for speaking the interests um, of the public and the residents. And I was also here, uh, Deputy Presiding Officer Nicolello, when you, when you were making those statements in November. Um, and it was unfortunate. And sadly, we seem to wait until Newsday prints something up. And I always find it interesting when I read Newsday about some of the decisions that you make, and they seem to report that there's no public outcry, which is untrue. But then again, being a journalist, I'm also very sad about what's happening in my profession as well. So um, I have no real issue, per se, with um, the individuals, I'm just concerned that we continue to recycle the same people who are dictating and determining what is happening in our region. I don't see anybody that has any actual background in the development process on this council that's determining the outlay of so many billions of dollars that don't seem to go into communities where people look like me, you know. Uh, that's a problem for me. And also, we're, at, we're outlaying money, and as Legislator Bino pointed out with regard to the generators, again, from someone who used to be able to uh, help carry senior citizens down darkened stairwells in New York City following 9-11, um, and also housed senior citizens who could not live in their facilities post Sandy. We were quick to step forward with demanding generators for the gas stations, but we seem to act vague when we want to discuss getting generators for facilities where our senior citizens are living. Whether it's the village of Hempstead or the village of Bayville, they all require the same support and resources. Why don't we drop one of these recommendations for yet another consulting attorney. We could use some of that funding, as I was told, what, two months ago, that we have Your 54, time has expired. always, 54 county attorneys. Why can't we drop some of them since you seem to be requiring another 10 every time a budget comes up? You could buy the ambulances, you could get the bulletproof vests, you could get the generators, you could get rid of some of the corruption that continues to run rampant because there is no vetting process for all of the staff that you have. And no, there is no confidence in this body in terms of the decisions that you make because again, your failure rate is increasing. You fail with the consolidations. Whose bright idea was that? Who took responsibility for that? Who lost their job for that? When you don't get elected in this county, you either get appointed at the college or you get appointed at the Nassau County Medical Center. So where is the accountability for the residents when people mess up when it comes down to our taxpayer dollars? That's what I want to know. Where is the accountability? And lastly, before I take my seat, because I've sat here for two and a half hours with the back and forth, okay, that all of you are getting paid, everybody sitting here is getting paid, to sit here and I have to work
through the night to pay for the increased incompetencies that happened here. I have yet still to see any documentation, any bill, anything with funding, as someone pointed out that Dassau County doesn't like to put forth band-aids without any funding to see it through. Let's talk about the veterans. Let's talk about the veterans. There's no training. Where's the consultants for the veterans? Where is a mobile unit to help the veterans that are still dying on the vine? The ones that are leaving the residents, leaving the areas. We want to fund zombie houses. We want to pay to keep a house empty as opposed to addressing the fact that we have an increasing rate of veteran homelessness. So where are the resources for the veterans? And please don't tell me about the two and a half people at the Veteran Services Agency where you've got close to 100,000 veterans in this county. The VA is being indicted. You have all of these, you have all of these stories in here. Another suicide at the Nassau County Jail. So again, what are you actually doing in Nassau County with my tax dollars that is working? What are you doing that is Thank working? You Since you're not going to answer the question and you're not going to address it, it will come up in Newsday and hopefully to God we do not have the types of tragedies that the frustrations of the residents are building up to address. Because I don't have to, I don't want to experience anything else than, than the nightmares that I'm still facing from 9-11. But I see it happening, and you all sit there, and like I said before, this side of the room can really dial it in. You can just dial it in. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. You're welcome. Uh, there being no other comment, uh, all those in favor of the items that I did pull, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, those items pass unanimously. All right, now, I'm going to Mr. Krause, and I'm going to ask a legislator, um, Jacobs, and legislator and minority leader, Kavon Abraham, to lead a lady group. And we're going to call item 35, okay, which is uh, resolution 97, a resolution to confirm the county executive reappointment of Jeffrey Crowd to the Long Island Leader of Planning County. Moved by Legislator Walker, seconded by the Legislator uh, Capel. All right, any, um, any comments uh, regarding that appointment? Okay, Mr. Crowd, where are you? Are you here? Okay. I know you sat quite a while. Sorry about that, but that's the way it goes. Some days it works. That's right. Some days it works. That's fine. Some days Thank it you. You're welcome. Okay, what would you like to tell us? No, I think uh, I just appreciate the opportunity to serve again and to try to work uh, collaboratively with my colleagues uh, across the county lines to improve uh, services and uh, uh, projects that will uh, better the county. I'm a resident of East Meadow, so uh, we have. Uh, I've tried very hard to, uh, you know, improve the area. I'm in. Glad I didn't know who you were, because then I would have had to refuse myself. No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, any other comments, any questions, any public comment? Uh, there being none, all those in favor of uh, the reappointment of Jeffrey Trout to the Long Island Regional Planning Council, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Any? I know. Uh, there were two refusals. Well, Thank you. Uh, the best uh, to the regional council, and hopefully, you know, all will go well. Thank you. And is uh, Barbara down up here? No, she actually, she was scheduled. She yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It's, 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 it's okay. It's fine. Okay. I right, thank you very much. Now, we will proceed with the regular council. And... Uh, the item two, which is a public hearing. All right, um, Mr. Clark, please call the hearing. 